Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. We're currently working on a completely MSI build with some pretty awesome hardware. Instead of just building the machine and not talking about any of the hardware, we're actually going to take a closer look at all of it because I feel like it's pretty special. And since this is a motherboard, you know what time it is. We're back with another Motherboard Monday, except this time it's on a Tuesday again. In this video, we're checking out the MSI Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon Motherboard that supports 8th and 9th generation Intel CPUs. Let's check it out. Just before we start this video, I just want to make it clear that our Motherboard Mondays videos aren't really reviews. They're overviews so you can get an idea of the feature set with these boards and what physically comes in the box when you buy a brand new motherboard. Alright, let's check out the MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon. Alright, let's uh, get this beautiful guy out of the box, uh, just like so, and see what we get when we buy one of these. First up is an M.2 screw, so you can screw in your M.2. Next up is an RGB splitter. This is for 12 volt analog RGB, not for addressable RGB. And this is a two way splitter cable. Alrighty, what else do we got in here? Next up is a three pin addressable RGB to Corsair addressable RGB connector. This is actually quite cool. I, I haven't seen one of these in a motherboard before and yeah, this should come almost standard in all boards. Right, next up we've got a single SATA cable because whoever had this board before didn't feel like putting it back in. I'm not pointing fingers at anyone. <laughs> next up is another Corsair RGB cable, but this is just an extension cable for the other cable or if you've got a Corsair lighting hub as well. Okay, we've got a high bandwidth SLI bridge for that old school SLI, That not, not, not that RTX stuff that everybody's going on about these days. All right, what else we got next? Okay, we have the user guide. So if you want to overclock your CPU or do anything like that, uh, this book will basically tell you how to do it and how to not break anything. And if you get confused with what anything is, this will help you out. All right, what do we got here? This is a quick installation guide. This basically shows you how to get the CPU into the socket and how to mount a stock cooler if you've got one of those as well. Pretty straightforward stuff. All right, what else we got? Oh, another one of these. Okay, listen. Now, I know MSI is going to watch this one. Guys, USB sticks. They're really cheap to manufacture. Please give us USB sticks instead of these DVDs. Right, uh, yeah, there's a, a sticker that you can put on your computer if you want to show people what you've got and a little product pamphlet as well as a thank you for choosing your MSI product. Did I say that right? I hope so. And a standoff guide that'll show you how not to short out your motherboard and kill it. And last but not least, some stickers to label all of your cables inside of your case. Okay, time to take a closer look at that motherboard. First up, there is the front panel audio connector. There's a 12 volt RGB connector as well as a 5 volt addressable RGB connector, three PWM fan connectors, there's two USB 2.0 connectors right here and here. And last but not least, the front panel connector for all of your buttons and lights and all the things to turn on your system. There's six SATA ports so you can plug in your spinning rust mechanical drives or your SSDs. There's a right angle USB 3.0 header as well as a USB 3.1 Gen 2 header which is actually very very nice and another USB 3.0 header and a 24 pin power connector so you can give your motherboard all of that juice. Alright, what do we got next? Next up is two PWM connectors, one's for a system fan and the other one's for an AIO pump connection and a Corsair RGB header, which is very, very nice, as well as another 12 volt RGB header sitting right behind it. I should have changed the angle slightly, but yeah, there is another RGB connector straight behind there. There's also an eight pin EPS CPU power connector as well as another four pin connector, just in case you've got one of the newer ninth gen CPUs that suck a little bit more juice. All right. There's three times 16 size PCIe slots. The top one is 16 times, the middle one is eight times, and the bottom guy is four times, as well as three more one times PCIe slots. There's four DDR4 RAM slots that run in dual channel, which can take memory up to 4,400 megahertz. You heard that right, 4,400 megahertz. That's crazy. There's an 1151 Gen 2 socket, or like Dash 2, whatever they want to call it, that supports 8th and 9th generation Intel CPUs. Although it is electrically identical to 6th and 7th generation, 
it is not compatible with any of those chips, as well as the standard mounting holes around the socket so you can mount your cooler to the motherboard. There's two separate M.2 slots for your NVMe M.2 drives. This one is above the top PCIe slot, and this one is hidden underneath a heatsink that is attached to the PCH, and I'm just going to pull it off here so you can have a little bit of a look, and look, there it is, on all of its uh, heatsink called Glory. All right, let's take a look at the rear I.O. Now this motherboard actually has a built-in I.O. shield, which I think every motherboard should be doing now. It's got a PS2 port, two USB 2.0 ports, display port, HDMI, USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A and Type C, USB 3.0 gigabit ethernet, and 7.1 audio that includes an optical output as well. My first impressions of this board are all pretty positive. Obviously, I haven't used it yet, but from a design standpoint, it appears to have everything that a good Z390 board should have. We've got a full build with the Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon coming this week. It's also gonna feature the MSI Lightning 2080 Ti in MSI's new mid-tower case. Pretty exciting stuff. The MSI Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon is going for around 185 US dollars on Amazon right now. There is a link down below as usual if you wanted to grab yourself one. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do and tell us what you didn't like about it or tell us what you hated about it or just tell us anything. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And I'm pretty keen to do this build and spoiler alert right at the end, it's going to have the i9-9900K, the, the Lightning Z or the Lightning 2080 Ti, like the, the, the really crazy one they make with this motherboard in MSI's new case. So yeah, it's going to be like full MSI. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.